Welcome to Remnant Nation, where we are contending for the faith with Apostle Cherry Shepherd. Join us for relevant teaching, dynamic kingdom revelations, apostolic and prophetic impartation, and a sure word from the Lord. Grab your Bibles and let's get ready for today's teaching with Apostle Cherry Shepherd. to every demonic spirit on assignment against our lives. The word of God is stronger and greater. The word of God is stronger and greater. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the word won't fail. The promise won't fail. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship, we worship, we worship. We worship, we worship. We worship. We worship. Come on, you be an instrument this morning. You be an instrument this morning. Huh? Glory to God. Let your mouth be an instrument. Glory to God. He won't fail. Glory to God. He's brought us this far. He's brought us this far. He won't leave us. He won't leave us. Hallelujah. He won't fail. Let that encourage your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He da ba 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 so ra ba ba mande yando. He da 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 ba so ra ba ba ma 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 mande le le dioso. Ra ba 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 shete le 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 bokosa. Ra ba 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 mando shatande le le diase. He da 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 ba shando ra ba ma ma mande. He da 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 ba so ra ba ba se yande. He won't, he won't, he won't fail. He can't fail, he can't fail. His word can't fail, his word can't fail. Hallelujah. The Lord is a strong tower, hallelujah. He's your shield, he's your buckler. He's your buckler, he's your buckler. He's your buckler. Hallelujah. He's your strong tower. Hallelujah. He's my strong tower. Hallelujah. I take comfort in him. We take comfort in him. Ah, the rain came, the winds blew, but a house. Come on, come on, psalmist. Safe We're safe. With you, I'm going to make it. it I'm going to make it. Come on, come on. Come on, sing it strong. My house My is built on you. I'm going to make it through. I'm going to make it through. I'm standing strong on you. I'm standing strong on you. You're going to make it through. 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 He won't fail. He won't fail. He won't. He won't. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He won't fail. He won't fail. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that you won't fail. That's it. Give him praise. If you know that he won't fail, if you know that he can't fail, hallelujah, Father, we love you. We bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being our strong tower. Thank you, thank you for being our buckler. Thank you for being our refuge. 
thank you for being our strength. Thank you for being our battle axe. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for being our comfort. Thank you, God, that you will not fail. We give you praise today. We give you glory, and we do give you honor. We bless your holy name today, Father. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that is already here. We thank you for the outpouring that's already here. We thank you for the anointing to destroy every yoke of the enemy. Let no yoke stay in place. But we thank you for destroying the yokes of the enemy. Because you cannot fail. And we thank you for the weight of your glory. We thank you for the weight of your word. Huh? We thank you, God, for the anointing of God. We give you you praise today, God, for the power of the Holy Spirit. Ah, ha, 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 ha. The power of the Holy Spirit to demolish the works of Satan. And we give you glory. The saints give you glory. The saints bless your name. Great, great, great is the Lord. Great, great, great is the Lord. And I decree he's bigger. He's bigger than what's been chasing you. He's bigger than what's been bothering you. He's bigger than what's been harassing you. He's bigger today. And we decree and we declare that our big God, is showing up for you in every situation, in every realm of your life. He's showing up. He's showing up. He's showing up with his strong arm, with his strong arm. And we give you praise, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The saints rejoice today in our great God. We rejoice. Hey, my, 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 my. Hey, my, 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 We rejoice, we rejoice, we rejoice. We rejoice, we rejoice, we rejoice. Hallelujah. God knows how to show up. And he knows how to show out. He knows. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you that you're a miracle worker. Thank you. Thank you that you're a way maker. Thank you. You know how to make ways, huh? Where there's a wilderness, you know how to bring a path. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Where there's desert, where it's dried up, God, you know how to bring refreshing waters. And we thank you, God. Hallelujah. For divine reversals. We thank you, God, for the waters of God going into desert places. We thank you. We thank you, God. We thank you for making a path. Ah, glory to God. You made a path in a wilderness where it looked like there was no way through. It looked like uh, there was no way out. You made a path uh, and said, come this way, daughter. You made a path and we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my, 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 my. Glory, glory, glory. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Thank you, Jesus. He did it anyway. He did it in spite of you. Come on. His grace was sufficient. Hallelujah. His strength was made perfect in my weakness. Ha. Woo. Glory to God. Ha, ha, ha. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. His strength was made perfect in my weakness. I didn't know how I was going to get out, but the Lord knew. Hallelujah. The Lord made a way. And we bless him today. We thank him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When you've gone all week long and this has happened and that has happened, you got to just have you a little praise party sometime, a little praise break. You got to have a little, a little, a little thank you fit. Come on, have a thank you fit. You got to bless him for what, for what is working. You got to thank him for what is right. Come on. We're not going to take all week and talk about what's wrong, but what's right. Thank him for the right. If it's only two things right, thank you for these two things that are right. Thank you for the right today, God. Thank you. Thank you. I got a roof over my head. Thank you. I got a car to drive. Thank you. There's gas in the tank. Thank you. There's food on my table. Thank you. There's clothes on my back. Thank you. Hallelujah. We're not going to magnify the devil. The Bible says, oh, magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord. 
we're going to magnify God. We're not going to magnify everything that's wrong. But we're going to magnify him. Hallelujah. How many going to magnify God with me? Hallelujah. Look at somebody say, it's well. Come on, look around this room. Say, it's well. Come on. It's well. Come on, it's well. Facebook, it's well. YouTube, it's well. Come on, it's well. See, you got to tell yourself, it's well. Now say this, say, I'm well. Come on, say, I'm well. Yeah, I'm well. Glory. <laughs> I don't have all the clothes I want, but I'm well. Every bill's not paid, but I'm well. Glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We are well today. It is well, and we are well, because we're going to magnify the Lord. I'm determined to magnify the Lord. And he said, I make all things beautiful in time. Glory to God. Ecclesiastics, he says, I'll make all things beautiful. Thank you, Jesus. So whatever's not well, we make an announcement it's going to be well, because in time, he makes all things well. Come on, y'all. He makes it beautiful. Glory to God. We give God great praise today. We thank him for another Saturday. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We've got people praising him on Monday. We have ministry happening on Tuesday. There's Bible studies happening across the world on Wednesday. Some people are meeting on Thursday. Come on. There's revivals on Friday night. But God's got him a crew on Saturday. Come on. I said God's got a Saturday crew. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 365 days, God has somebody blessing his name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I praise God for Saturday. Amen. Amen. For this day that we are here, we welcome you to Remnant International Ministries, amen, established in 2012, amen, by the leading of the Holy Ghost in September of 2011 at 2.30 in the morning, the Lord woke me up out of a dream, and in the dream, somebody was just kept saying the word remnant, 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 and I woke up out of a dream praying in the Holy Ghost, and as I was praying, coming up out of my sleep. The word remnant just came out of my belly because it was in the dream and I praise God for a remnant of people all across the nations that are contending for the faith. Come on. That's not blurring the line. We're not confused about who God is. We're not making no excuses for the Bible. We're not calling it a history book, but it's God's written word. It's God wrapped up in the volume. It's God, hallelujah, walking through the scriptures. Hallelujah, it's man's way to eternal life. And I praise God for remnant this morning. I praise God for you, hallelujah, that have followed and walked with this ministry online and in person. I'm not discouraged in any kind of way, amen. How many, how many know that we can't be weary and well-doing? But we're going to reap if we don't faint. How many, how, many, how many can declare that fainting is nowhere in me? Come on, say, I can't faint now. I'm at the door. Come on. I can't faint now. Woo. I, if I could just preach it like I feel it, God help me in the ear. Hallelujah. I can't faint now. I'm at the door. Glory to God. You better prophesy to yourself and say, faint is not in me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I feel like an Amazon woman. Glory to God. We're going to war. Huh? Come on here. God's got some women that's going to fight. God has some Deborahs and he has some Esthers. And we praise God for the men also. He's got some warriors like David. Glory to God that won't take down. Glory to God. There's some great men and women that's standing on the front line. And I praise God I'm on the front line. Glory to God, I'll pull up this dress and turn it into some pants in a minute. Glory to God. Ha, ta, ba, sha. Ha, ha, ha. And fight for the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm, I'm trying to stay calm, Jasmine. Woo, hallelujah. But I feel some weight on me today. Hallelujah. 
I just came to teach this lesson. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I take it personal. Thank you, Jesus. It's almost like a mama who will fight for her children. Now, there are some mamas in here who will fight for your children. You can talk about this. You can talk about whatever, but don't talk about Joshua. Come on. Don't you say nothing about faith. Come on. Don't talk about miracle. Come on. Don't talk about Justin. Come on. Don't talk about little Michael Jr. That's how I feel about the church. Don't talk about the church. Don't talk about the ecclesia. Don't talk about what God is doing. And I tell you, the church is even as Jesus. I see the revelation. When the, when, the, when the devil thought he had Jesus on the cross, and when they saw him in the tomb, it looked like he was done. It looked like it was over. But he didn't understand it was a part of the plan. And that God already knew, just give me three days. I know it looked like, I'm, you know, it's over for my son. But God knew, just give me three days. And in three days, we know what happened. His son came back. And that's how people are looking at the church. They're looking at people who are falling. And this pastor is falling. And this bishop is falling. And this is going on. But let me tell you, the church is even symbolic to Jesus. Even as it looked like Christ was done and over. I want you to know that there is an ecclesia. There is a church uh, that's not going to die. We are not going to stay in a grave, uh, but the church is arising. Uh, can somebody say the church uh, is arising? Uh, glory to God. Uh, and we're coming forth with full power. Uh, we're coming out anointed. Uh, we're coming out with righteousness. Uh, we're coming out with the might of God. Uh, the church will not die. No, 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 no. And the scripture that we're going to teach from today is Matthew 16 and 18. And our text is the gates of hell shall not prevail. The gates of hell. The gates of hell will not prevail. And even as we'll fight for our children, the church is God's bride. And just like children will fight for I mean, parents will fight for their children. A good husband will fight for his wife. Come on. And, and, and the church is the bride of God. The church is precious to the Lord. And in the Greek, I just want to just wanna go there for a minute. Glory to God and just talk a little bit about the importance and what the church is. Glory to God. The, 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 the church is so special to the Lord. Hallelujah. We know we have heard this uh, in the Greek. It is ecclesia. That word church in Matthew chapter 16 and 18. You have read this many, many times. Let me just go right here to Revelation. Uh, it's ecclesia, this word. It is an assembly. It is a congregation. Uh, it's the whole body of Christian believers. But what I loved about uh, this, 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 this uh, word study about ecclesia, is that it also means out from, out from the world and to God. That this church has been brought from and out of the world and brought over and given to God. Uh, this ecclesia is also another Greek word, uh, is kairokos, means belonging to the Lord. Somebody say, I belong to the Lord. The church belonged to the Lord. People have taken the word and have, uh, 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 have almost um, defamed the word or uh, spoke of the church as if it is just some old uh, gathering of hypocrites. It's just a gathering of confused people. It's a gathering of people who have been, you know, they've been brainwashed. But I beg the difference today that when God established his church, he said that this church, this body of believers is not a 
building it's a people uh, he died for not concrete and sheetrock uh, but he died for souls he died for a people and then when he died he brought these people together and he called them an assembly a congregation a ecclesia kairakos belonging to the lord you belong to god that should bring us a sense of security. Maybe I don't have a, or you don't have maybe a million dollar life insurance policy. Just maybe. Maybe your, maybe your 401k is not at 10 million. Maybe, just maybe, every little natural thing is not like you want it to be. But you can say with an assurance, I belong to the ecclesia. I belong to the church. And when you belong to the church, you belong to God. And God says, I have a responsibility. I, 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 I have promised to, to take care of my church. How many are with me today? He said, I promise, I, I, I promise you that I'm going to take care of my church. Now, I was led to go this way today. We have been in, we were in Isaiah chapter 54. I'm going to probably touch on that just a little bit from last week. But as I was working on some new stuff to promote the church, and this week was the local church week and promoted maybe like six or seven different churches in our local community. And I went to Eventbrite to look at some other kingdom news across the region. And when I went and went to the uh, the, the uh, Colorado region to see the events that were happening under the religious subheading. I was alarmed. Because when I looked, event after event after event, the first, ten, the first 10 events on the first page was a witch seance is happening over here. We're having a palm reading over here. We're having the witches are meeting over here. I mean, event after it took me to, I had to get to the second page to see one Christian event. I said, God, please, please don't, don't. And I know that events are happening, but it's just we didn't, they don't put them in event bright. And I went to the next, it was, it was, it was, it was 33 page, 33 events. Out of 30 something events, three events were Christians, and every last one of them was we're going to read the moon we're going to it was it was all demonic <coughs> and i sat there and i look, and, and some of them literally said sold out they could take no more registration so many people had signed up for these events and some of the names it was stuff i had never heard of before it was it was Names that I'd even I I never even heard of, uh, 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 reading your soul and it was all it was all types of demonic event after event after event, and I only could find three Christian events. It was alarming and it can't and and it could be discouraging, and it could look like. The church is way behind. Now, I understand that it's just a lot of people don't go to event bright to promote their event. So it doesn't mean that Christian events are not happening. That's why God prompted me to do KCN. Because the kingdom is alive in Colorado. Can we clap for that? The kingdom... We may not be rocking like Texas and Atlanta, but we're doing something. Come on. Come on. The kingdom. Somebody say the kingdom is moving in Colorado. And even though I saw that and I looked at it, 
I said, no, devil, you still ain't winning. No, 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 no. You did seance, palm reading, whatever it is, you are not winning. Because 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18, let's go there together. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse number 18, then we'll go to our theme scripture. I want every man of God to be encouraged, every woman of God to be encouraged, every preacher to be encouraged, every pastor to be strengthened, every one working in the church, the music ministry. Can we clap for Milka and, and for, uh, uh, now I'm going to forget, Kyla today. Can we clap for them? Come on. Be encouraged. Chad, be encouraged on that computer. Pushing all them buttons. Glory to God. Joseph, be encouraged on that camera. Be encouraged. Jasmine is doing the social media. Be encouraged. Evangelists, be encouraged. Mm -mm. Because although it looked like there was all this demonic stuff was happening, look what 1st, 2nd Corinthians 4 and 18 says. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So even though we may not see everything happening, let me tell you something about God. He don't always show his hand. Come on now. See, just like back to Jesus, they thought that they had won and they thought that, you know, it was over and that Christ had been killed. But you know what? They knew something was up. Because why would they put all those soldiers at the tomb? They already knew something going to go down here. So they said, you know what? Let us put some soldiers here to see if we can try to at least block or stop. They already knew something might as the streets would say, pop off. Come on. And did it pop off? <laughs> yeah, it did. So what I want y'all to see is, with even what looked like, man, this political thing, it is crazy. My God, look at, look at what's happening, all the wars and rumors of wars. and my, look, at, look, look, at, look at the gas prices are going back up. And you could get so, your heart could get so troubled. Just looking at your own personal life, like, man, this is crazy. But he says, we don't look at what's seen. Because this is temporary, but what we look at is you can't even see it. Because we got a God who's working, somebody say, in the background. He's working in the background. And so our text today, as I said, is the gates of hell will not, can somebody just say will not, will not, will not prevail. Now the gates represent demonic power. It represents the, the, the kingdom of darkness and, the, and, and the, the strength he tries to bring up against God's people, the power that he tries to bring up against God's people and against God's church and against this living kingdom moving organism and he comes with what he has, but God lets him know from the get-go, bro, it ain't going to work. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening today. <laughs> he said, listen, the gates, all the strength you muster up, all the attacks, all the challenges, all the lies, all the foolishness, Everything you try, I'm letting you know it's not going to work. The praise team just sung it. He won't fail. He won't fail, so what you're doing not going to work. He says the gates, the power of what, that the enemy comes with, it won't prevail. The word prevail means to be, it will not be victorious it will not triumph over you. The word prevail uh, uh, says that whatever is, is, is coming in your life, what we see in the world is not going to succeed. The word prevail, 
means that it's not going to be effective. It's, it's not going to do what it's set out to do. It's not going to win. We already know that weapons form, but, 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 but what? They don't. So put your water gun up. Put your water gun up. You think you got a machine gun, honey, that's a water gun in the kingdom. Because it's not going to prosper. Because we serve a God of 1159. He'll come at the last minute and shut it down. Come on. The gates of hell will not prevail against his church. Now, what we have to understand, because he said, Sister Paula, that the gates of hell will not prevail. They won't win. They won't triumph. They won't succeed against the church. The key to this whole thing, everything we do, the foundation must be with what he's built, with, with, with what he built. So the gates of hell won't prevail against the what? Come on, class. The gates of hell won't prevail against the? So everything I do must be birthed from that foundation. So here it is. We could call it a ministry. You can call it a Christian center. You can call it an apostolic center. You can call it a hub. You can call it whatever you want to call it. But the foundation must be birthed from what God established, and that's the church. This is why we have to be so careful not to run with everything we see on social media. Because we don't even understand what was the foundation of this. The Bible talks about this in Timothy. talks about silly women just running after all types of teachings and doctrines and just silly people. Every wind of doctrine. Who? called you to this work. When you look in the book of Acts, the Bible says that they were praying and fasting and they set aside Paul and Barnabas. They were praying and fasting and set them aside for the work. So this is why we can't get tangled up with everything It looks good. Oh, look at all the cameras. Oh, look at all the people. Look at all the likes. Look at all of the, look, just all the glamour. No, 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 no. Tell me the root of it. What's the root of this? Who called you? Who set you? There's a trend. Well, I'm covered by God. Well, Paul and Barnabas was covered by God, but they also needed recognition in the earth because you deal with people. When you go to a hospital and, and you want to come in as a minister, you go to a prison, you want to come in as a minister, you can't come in and say, well, I'm covered by God. You've got to be able to say that on the earth I'm recognized by the assembly, the ecclesia, the ecclesiastical. That's like somebody going and just getting a gun and putting a suit on and say, well, I called myself to be a police. And I'm going to come arrest you. I called myself because I'm covered by me. Oh, yeah, we're going to break up this rebellious spirit. That's what it is. It's a spirit of rebellion. And it's a haughty spirit. It's a prideful spirit that doesn't want to submit to anybody. When you go to the red light, what do you do? You stop. Well, I'm covered. I'm just going to drive through. You can have a wreck. So, Everything, he says, the gates of hell won't prevail against his church. So what I'm attached to, I need to make sure that it's attached to what God said won't prevail against it. I just can't follow a personality. I just can't follow uh, what's popular, what's the fad. No, 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 no. Have you been set have you been sent? And are you submitted to anybody? 
And are you, sub now listen, it was, the, it was the apostles in Jerusalem, and they were in Antioch, that literally set Paul and Barnabas. So set people, set people. Lord Jesus, I'm going to say it again. Set people, set people. Because see, you got now unset people trying to set people. You unset. So how are you going to set somebody? You unset yourself. You didn't go through the proper channels, and now you setting people. So now we got a whole bunch of up, up, just upsetness. Upset people. Because unset set you. This ain't popular, but it's right. This is why <laughs> he, you got to hear this. See, this is our covering. This is our security and our protection. And see, many people that are even out doing things, they really are called of God. They, they, just, they just need to backtrack, humble themselves, and say, now, God, let me do this right. Let me go submit to some senior leaders who have been set before I try to set another person. People, you a mother in the church and you're 22. How are you a mother at 20 and you don't even have kids? I've got 15 sons and you're 21. Some of this doesn't even make common sense. But have you been set even as a mother? Have you been set as a father? Look at this. He says here, upon this rock I build whose church? So everything that we do must be, must be a part of his church. Just can't start making up stuff and making up our own religion, our own way of doing things. Well, you know, God's doing something new. Well, I, the Bible tells me that Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and what? So all of this, you don't come up with something new. No, you just don't want to follow the word. It's pride. Okay, all right. So look at this. So not only is God, so, so, so God is, God has said that the gates of hell will not prevail against the church, but guess who else the church is? Look at 2 Corinthians 6, you all know this, 19 through 20, we're the church. So then whatever's trying to come up against you, it's not going to prevail. But if you notice, it's a whole lot, let me go back here a minute, there's a whole lot coming against the church. It's a lot. It's a lot of teaching, erroneous teaching. It's a lot of new, you know, and, and you know, this, uh, this, you know, new age, new doctrines. It's a new way. And, 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 and because people don't want to submit to being convicted about something, they've transitioned to I'm offended. When the offense really was conviction. But they didn't want to submit to, I'm convicted. No, I'm offended. So there's a lot coming against the church. There's teaching. There's ways of, of, of how we can do things now. What was, this was, what was bad then, it's okay now. Because we've got to be progressive with the times. But if it takes me out of the word of God, it's not progressive. It's a demon. It's a devil. But God says that the gates will not prevail against his church, his organized, his body. People are against the word organized. Now, I know that there are some bodies of people that are organized, and, they don't, they've, and they've added some of their own stuff in there. All of the teaching, all of the traditions that they do, it's not scriptural. So we're not promoting that. 
we understand that there are churches now, uh, organized churches that have said it's okay for homosexuals to be ministers and they're ordaining them. They're ordaining homosexuals to be pastors, bishops, all of that. That's not God's church. There are some who started right. He said, he's, he's, he said you ran well, but, but who, who hath hindered you? You began in the, in the, in the spirit, but, but, but who bewitched you? So there's some who started well, but the ways of the world and the times of the world, they have, they have submitted to it because they want to be popular with man. They don't want their money to get funny. They don't want their time to be messed with. Filthy lucre. So they literally exchange God to please man. So yes, there is an attack against the church to the point that, that, that the church will be looked at and is looked at as a, a group that is preaching hate. It's a hate speech. It's a, y'all are haters. You all, you all don't walk in love. The gates of hell will not prevail. Don't let the accusations cause you to bend. Don't let the lies of the enemy cause you to bend. The gates of hell will not prevail against you. Because he said that, let's go here, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse number, number, number 19. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? You were bought with bought at a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's, which are God's. That's why, that's why we don't believe in abortion. This is not no political thing. This is the Bible. This, this, this is not political. This is just scripture. You can't kill what you didn't make. You can go bake you a cake and throw that away. Bake you some cookies, you can go throw those away. But you cannot kill what you didn't make. Come on here. He says, in your body and in your spirit, they're all gods. It all belongs to him. This is, this, this, this is a God thing. This is, this, this is not a, a left or a right or a Republican or a Democrat. Or, this is just God. Your body's not your body. How many fingers did you make? How many toes did you create? How many strands of hair did you put on your head? Did you make the head that the hair is on? This is my body. No, it's not. He gave you. You're, you're, it's, 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 oh, it's, for, it's being loaned. You've been loaned this body. So this is why we don't believe in abortion. Oh, God, God, yeah, I'm a preaching teacher. I sure am. That's the problem now. You don't stop preaching and teaching stuff, and that's why people are often crazy. Because we laxed in the pulpit, became so seeker-friendly, so scared, you know, well, the people are not going to come. Well, now you got 80% of the people in the church don't half half okay don't not even serving god just there as a, as a, as a starbucks gathering cuz you don't want to offend the scripture is offensive i was offended yesterday <laughs> i was offended yesterday <laughs> come on here I asked the Lord for an answer. I said, God, I just, I, 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 I just, I just want to be, be so clear on this, Lord, so clear. And my phone was in my hand, and Joyce Myers popped up. And y'all know Joyce just going to say it, right? And I said, now, nah, God, did you have to come like this? I said, Lord, and I'm just, I actually put her on pause. 
just to digest. I said, okay, 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 Lord. Then I push play again. Go on, just, just, just. That's what people don't want. Don't mess with my stuff. Don't tell me I'm wrong. Don't offend me. I'd rather offend you and you make heaven your home than you burn in hell for the rest of your life. I will offend you. So you can, so you can spend eternity with the God who loves you. The scripture can be offensive until you want it. When you want it, you'll submit to it, all right? So our bodies, he, so, so, so we're the temple, so the gates of hell won't prevail against me. So the health challenges come, you're not going to prevail. You're not going to prevail, but I've got to be obedient. I have to treat my body like it is the temple of God. I can't eat three things of Pringles and and, and hot sausages, which I used to love as a little girl, and pickled eggs and pig feet and chitterlings. Come on. And tell my God going to keep me healthy. He going to keep your spirit healthy, but you tearing up your body. Come on. So the gates of hell won't prevail, but I've got to obey. So God help us to obey. Father, help me to help me to treat my body like the temple. God, help me. God, take the, you know how, you know how they say he took the taste of the, the smoke, the smoking out of my mouth and took the taste of alcohol. Lord, take the taste of sugar. Come on. Deliver me from sugar and the Pringles. Thank you, Jesus. All right. <laughs> Because our temple, God, help me. Father, you said the gates of hell will not prevail against, against your church. Well, Lord, I'm the church, and I'm struggling with this. So, Father, I just lay this on the altar. I present my body a living sacrifice. What do they do with sacrifices in the Old Testament? They did what? Burn it. So if you present in your body as a living sacrifice, what are you asking God to do? Burn up what's in me that's not like you. Paul said, I beseech you, brethren, present your body a living. You, you, you're living, but he's burning. Burn, so you should be on fire all day. He burning it up, burning up that attitude, burning up that selfishness, burning up all that religiosity in you. Burning up all that greed. Burning up. I present my body. That's so that I'm not conformed to this. But I'm transformed by the renewing of my. What's going to renew me? The word. That's why they're fighting this. Because they don't want their mind renewed. I want to be filthy and nasty. And still pick up the mic and preach. No, you're not. You got to you, you you, you come here and let him burn you up a little bit. Come on, get on the grill. Does it, does, it, does it hurt? Yes. But will you be better for it? Yes. Somebody say, burn me up. Oh, okay, now you said it now. Burn me up, Lord. Come on. Yeah, that ugly, that selfishness. It's all about me. It's all about me, 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 me. My ministry, my this. And that is huge in the kingdom right now. It is huge that we can't sacrifice, we can't do. If you're not helping me, then you, you know, then, 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 then you can't be a part of it. Well, well, maybe God wants you to help somebody. Maybe He wants you to give of your time. That's a whole nother message. So, the gates of hell. Can we stand to our feet? The gates of hell. The gates of hell. The gates of hell will not prevail against this church. The gates of hell will not prevail against you as the church. 
I want to encourage the fivefold ministers. You have such a responsibility. You have such a responsibility. He called you because he equipped you for your assignment. If you're called as a preacher, as an evangelist, a teacher, a pastor, a prophet, an apostle, you were equipped to do it. You are essential, okay? You, what, what, what they call that? You are essential personnel. You are essential personnel for the kingdom of God. Your job description is in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11 and 12. Okay? Your job description. Come on, help me out, Chad. Your job description is in Ephesians chapter 4. God said he is building his church, and you are who God is. It's your hands, your mouth that he's working through. Okay? So a lot of uh, distractions and attack that come against us is because he does not want you to be the mouth and the feet and the hands of Jesus. He wants to stop those who he has set in motion, those who work with the youth ministry, the music ministry, the, the media ministry, the social media ministry, all different types of ministry. He comes to distract you and your family and your finances and your home and your health to get you to fall back. In all of this, you don't have enough time. That's a lie from the pits of hell. That's a lie. We have seven days in a week, 28 to 31 days in a month, 168 hours in one week we have, 744 hours in a month. We will not say that we don't have enough time. You know what we have to do? We have to prioritize the kingdom of God in our life. We have to make the kingdom of God a priority. And I want to encourage us. You, now, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You can do what God told you to do, but you cannot do all the stuff you don't put on yourself to do. That's what's stressing you out is that stuff you, you added on and the stuff people ask you to do that you should have said no to. Play something different, please. Something that you should have said no to, but because you haven't gotten no in your vocabulary yet, you know, because we're trying to be nice, and that's not even in the Bible. Hear what I'm saying? It's good to be nice, but, being, but saying no is not being mean. Saying no is just knowing your assignment. Are y'all hear what I'm saying? Come on, come on. So somebody say, I have time. I have time. Here I am. Here we come. The gates of hell will not prevail against the church. And you know what? And see, and see, and see, we're, and see those, those preachers, that five-fold ministry team, like I want y'all to see it. It's like we're standing in front of the doors of the church like, try me. You're not going to tear this down. Then you got the helps ministries right behind the five. Well, you got the deacons ministry right behind the, the ministers. You got the, you got the front line is the, is the preachers. Then you got the deacons ministry is the second line. Then you got the helps ministry is the third line. Come on. And everybody armed locked saying, I dare you to try to tear this down. We're going to pray you out, cast you out. Come on, worship you out, love you out, preach you out, but you're not going to prevail. In my house, you stand there with your arms locked. You ain't coming up in here no more. Now, you was in it before. We let you in, but let me escort you to the front door. You're not coming back in here. The gates of hell will not prevail in my home, in my mind, in my heart. So guess what just happened? Somebody say, switch. Say it again. Say, switch. Yeah, now the devil is on the defense. We on the offense. You're not running nothing in here. Glory to God. Come on, give him praise if you receive this. If you receive this. 
You're not running nothing in here. Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. The gates of hell should not prevail against the church. Thank you for every pastor that's standing today. Thank you, Father, for the wind of the Holy Spirit. Blow strength back into that man and woman of God. Don't let the numbers discourage them, but let the vision encourage them. I heard this this morning, Lord. You said that you, you said, you said, stretch my church back in place. He said some shrunk up the ministry because they got discouraged and I'm just going to do a little bit here, a little bit there and some of your vision is not uh, in momentum but the Lord said stretch the vision back out in my church hold back nothing hold back nothing Father we thank you in the name of Jesus for strengthening these shepherds today, thank you Thank you, God. Thank you for those who have online ministry. Strengthen them today. Thank you, God, for the evangelist. This is the hour of the evangelist. This is the day of the evangelist. Thank you, Lord. Let the evangelist go full speed ahead and win this dying world. I pray strength in the evangelist today. God, let them cry loud and spare not. Let them declare that the gates of hell will not prevail against God's church. And the souls are coming back to the church. They're coming back to God. The souls, the people are coming back to God. I rebuke discouragement for the evangelist today. What do you see? The Holy Ghost asks you a question. He says, what do you see? Do you see the harvest ripe? Do you see it plenteous? He says, move like you see a harvest that is ripe. Move like you see a harvest that's plenteous. And you're going in as the laborers. Thank you. Thank you for the work of the evangelist. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. For the prophets, God, thank you for the apostles. Thank you on the front line. Thank you for the strength for the assignment. Thank you that we're going to stretch the vision back out. We're going to get it off the shelf. We're going to get it out of our journals and off of our books, and we're going to stretch the vision back out. Ah, ah, ma, 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 ma. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. The gates of hell will not prevail against your church because the church is standing up. Your people are standing up and we're in place. We're in place. And we're going to be diligent. We're going to be faithful. We're not going to be slowful. We're going to be diligent and faithful. We're not going to do our jobs better than we do the church. We're not going to serve better at our jobs than we do for God's house. We're not going to do it. We're going to serve you with excellence. Ah, oh, yes, God. It's a privilege and an honor. It's a privilege and it's an honor to serve the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the work. Thank you for the assignment. Thank you for the work. Thank you for the assignment. The enemy will not prevail against our bodies. We thank you for health in our bodies. We thank you that we're in agreement with treating our bodies as the temple of the Holy Spirit. The enemy will not prevail against our finances. We're going to be givers in the kingdom. He will not prevail in our families, in our homes, in our relationships. He will not prevail. Thank you for joining us today for Remnant Nation. We pray you were blessed and strengthened by the Word of God. Set your alarm and join us next time for more anointed teaching with Apostle Cherry Shepherd. Remnant Nation is committed to contending for the faith. To learn more about Remnant International Ministries and Apostle Cherry.